fever with rash. My patient has got a fever with rash on day one. आज ही बुखार आया और आज ही दाने आ गए. Today only my child got a fever and today only he got a rash. Can you please tell me in the comment section what is the best differential diagnosis? The best differential diagnosis for this one will be varicella. Nothing but chicken pox. That is varicella or nothing but chicken pox. If a patient comes to you with fever, with rash, today only, Aji Bukharaya or Aji Dane Age, today only I got a fever, today only my I got some, some rashes, you will think of chicken pox. Fever with rash on day two will be scarlet fever. Day three, smallpox. Day four is measles. Day five is scrub typhus. Day six is dengue fever. Dengue fever. And day seven is enteric fever. This is the beautiful differential diagnosis of fever with rash device. Hmm. So this is the differential diagnosis of fever with rash. Chicken pox is important. They ask in exam. Mnemonic, yeah, there is a mnemonic, but well, mnemonic is lamba chhoda hai. So don't worry about it. Someone very beautifully is asking right now, what is isme se fifth day disease kaun si hai? Very beautiful question. The question is that among this, which is the fifth day disease? And among this, which is the, I would say, which is the fifth disease or which is the sixth disease? This is a 2023 NEED, PG and FMG question. In which you have told these seven names. Among these seven, which is fifth disease and which is sixth disease? Listen very carefully. Among these options, there is nothing, there is no fifth disease or sixth disease. Fifth disease and sixth disease, very importantly, in your workbook, after two pages, I have already beautifully made a you know, chart like this after two pages of your workbook. Okay. Or whatever notes you're reading right now, just flip the next two pages and you'll get this slide like that. There is something known as erythema infectiosum, which is known as fifth disease. And there is something known as Roseola infantum, which is known as six disease. Now, very beautifully, please, we must appreciate students that by mistake they do that uh, fifth disease and six disease. They think it is fever with rash on fifth day and fever with rash on sixth day. That is different. Fever with rash, fever with rash on the fifth day, you will think of very importantly, scrub typhus, right? But this bimari, this disease is fifth disease. Fifth disease is different. And fever with rash on fifth day, the scrub typhus, that is different. Sixth disease is known as roseola infantum. Whereas fever with rash on sixth day, what will you think of? You will think of dengue fever. Dengue fever. Okay, are you understanding? So this is one very beautiful bifurcation we must appreciate. It is just the name. Roseola infantum is known as sixth disease. Or it is just the name that is erythema infectiosum is known as fifth disease. There is no connection. There is no meaning that fifth day it will come. No, there's nothing like that. Okay. Exam entrance question number one. Dhruv, what is the causative organism for erythema infectiosum? The causative organism for erythema infectiosum is parvovirus B19. Whereas the causative organism for roseola infantum is human herpes virus, HHV. That is human herpes virus, sixth strain more than seven. Sixth strain more than seven. So I'll repeat again, fifth disease is known as erythema infectiosum. And in erythema infectiosum, you will see a slapped cheek appearance. I'll repeat again. In erythema infectiosum, you will see slapped cheek appearance. Kisine thappad mara ho. That is known as erythema infectiosum. Roseola infantum, it is also known as sixth disease. The causative organism is human herpes virus, sixth strain more than seven. And what is a special thing you know about this one? Nagayama spot. Very importantly, remember Nagayama spot. You will see Nagayama spot. Nagayama spot you see in a case of very importantly roseola infantum. So ye dane hai yaha pe. This small the, over the hard palate. Over the hard palate 
you have this small, 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 small hill lesions, and that is very importantly Nagayama spot. So Nagayama spot you see in a case of uh, Roseola infantum, whereas uh, slabbed cheek appearance you see in a case of erythema infectiosa. Erythema infectiosum is caused by parvovirus B19 and Roseola infantum is caused by human herpes virus, sixth strain more than seven. One very special MCQ for INICT, fever subsides, then the rash appears. This is a separate question. Fever come hoga, uske baad dane aayenge. Fever will go down and then the rashes will come. Whereas all this dengue, vengi and chicken pox, all those things, there was fever with the rash. Here, fever, then fever gone, then the rash appears. This is a separate proper MCQ for INICT. So that you should know. Thank you.